And welcome, everyone, and good evening. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Kelly Day. Federal agents seize a ship of toy guns, they say, in the wrong hands. They could have actually been deadly. In this Coin Local 6 exclusive, our reporter, Alexis Del Cid, talked to the local businessman who ordered these toy guns. And I see you have one there, huh, Alexis? Jeff, this is an example of one of the toy guns seized. And besides the orange tip, it looks pretty real. But this is an airsoft toy. It shoots plastic BBs. And the man who ordered these says anyone with any knowledge of weapons should be able to figure that out. No bullets, just plastic BBs. Not a battlefield, just a wooded area made to look like one. It's another version of paintball. For the past seven paintball. years, Brad Martin and his son Ben say their family business in Cornelius has steadily grown as simulated combat gaming grows in popularity across the country. This is the contemporary version of Civil War reenacting. While they aim for authenticity in every piece of gear, the Martins didn't anticipate a seizure by customs and ATF agents in Tacoma as their latest shipment of toy guns arrived from Taiwan. Any kid, any parent, any adult going out of the house with this needs to be ready for trouble. ATF Special Agent Kelvin Crenshaw says not only is the shipment missing the orange tips required on all imported toy guns. With minimal work, it could be converted to a machine gun. To say these are readily convertible to machine guns is absolutely preposterous. The round wouldn't go into the barrel for one, and two, if the firing pin did strike the primer, the gun would basically blow up in your face. Also, the Martins say there are tens of thousands of replicas just like these sold in America already. The only reason they buy from Taiwan is because it's cheaper. Until now. He's spent all this manpower, tax dollars, and time, and wasted my time, my money, my profitability, to seize 30 toy guns. That's what he's done. And he's portrayed himself as a, as a great hero. But ATF insists that it did the testing and determined that, yes, these can be converted into military-grade weapons. The Martins requested to see the documentation of that, and they were told that they'd have to file a Freedom of Information request with ATF. Now, as for the orange tips, this one has one, the ones that came in from Taiwan, didn't, but the Martins say that's happened before with their shipments from Taiwan, and they just had to go up to Tacoma and paint the tips orange themselves. So they wonder why this is being made into an issue now. Alexis Del Cid, Coin Local 6.